What's up, guys? Welcome back to Tums 38. This is the uh, number one show in America on Saturday, Tums. To our first segment, Ryan and Reba. This is a special announcement. I interrupt your precious programming to give you a merch promo if you want Sick Madness merch that says Unwinding Madness or any other funny sayings I can make for my brain. Go to the link in the description and get some merch if you want an Unwinding Madness hat that says Unwinding Madness on it, or on the back that says Unwinding Madness on it. You can wear it and you'll look fire. You have a fire hat to wear, dude. Or if you want a funny shirt that says, This is my napkin, or The Madness, or any other shirts that you see on the shop, click the link in the description and go get you some. We have a lot more funny shirts than this, but this was the first shirt on the shop, so go get it. Yeah, peace. Back to your double schedule program. Okay, guys. F the cameras, f the big media, f all the microphones. I don't care. I'm in, I'm gonna interview Reba right here, right now. Hello, Reba. How are you doing this fine evening? I love you. I'm a big fan of yours. What do you think of Tums tonight? Is this good? I love you, Reba. You're so good. You're such a good pig. Oh my god, she's dead. What do I do? Oh wait, I know what the f*** to do. Pet this Pelly and uh, do it right, okay? You gotta do this right, right here. Welcome to Ryan and Reba, the beautiful segment where we don't need fancy lapel microphones. We just need a f camera and nothing else. This is all we need. Just us and Reba. This is it, guys. Big media will love this. Ryan and Reba right here. So Reba, how do you feel about um, the big media covering your uh, big day today? How do you feel about that? Good? Oh yeah, she feels good, so good about this. Pigs are good, save the pigs, be good to pigs. And don't get me started on my other pig, Bertha. Ryan and Reba, also Ryan and Bertha. Hi Bertha, hi Bertha. See, Bertha likes it too. Bertha's good, see? Bertha's a good pig, she likes it. She's not as interested in it as Bertha as Reba, but she likes it. Um, there's another pig, but she's really mean, and I'm not going to show her. You already know what she looks like, okay? But this is Bertha. She uh, likes she likes me. I like her. She's my pig. And, uh, yeah, Bertha likes it too. And she was very happy to be on camera. So this is Ryan and Reba, vlog style. This has been Ryan and Reba. I hope you enjoyed. Um, yes, Reba enjoyed very thoroughly. She's very happy. Look at her. Look at her in this joyous smile. She loves this, doesn't she? Don't you, Reba? You love this, don't you? She loves this, mate. She f loves this. It's perfect for her. She loves it. Oh, dude. That freaking segment was freaking hilarious, bro. Reba's answers to some of those questions and Bertha's silence, bro, had me dying on the floor. That was funny, bro. So, now we're going to go to our next segment. Cinematic segment. Descending into madness is only when you try to repeat something over and over and the process just gets repetitive. And no matter how hard you try, you never seem to get there. And you just keep doing it. And then eventually, you've done it so many times that it's gotten just, you just go out of your mind. And you don't know what to do. So you try to do it again, but you end up digging a deeper hole. And your hole just keeps getting deeper and it's getting harder and harder and harder to climb out of that deep hole you dug yourself into and that you keep digging yourself into but you got to just stop digging you got to think you got to use your brain don't use your schnoz use your brain to think your way out don't dig because digging gets you nowhere so madness is when you start to get mold on your stick and you realize, oh, this stick is no good anymore because it has mold on it. So you just throw it out. You act like nothing ever happened. Madness. The number one word. 
that gets us all and makes us deceitful. Don't descend into this. No, no, no. Uh-uh. Don't do it. Don't you do it. It's only up from here. This is it. Whenever things start to change, times are different, times are rough. It's only, it only takes a simple boom change for change to occur, for change to come into real play. Take that chance. Just do it. Never is forever, and forever is never. One day, or day one, which one will it be? The time is now. You've got to decide now. You've got to do it. If you don't do it, you're going to get anywhere. You got to do it. No one else is gonna do it for you. If you say no, you are just limiting yourself to the endless possibilities that life has to offer. Endless possibilities. You can do whatever you want. Put your mind to it and give up. This message isn't clear. Give up. That's what you gotta do. You gotta give up. Give up on yourself, give up on your hopes and dreams. See where that, see where that gets you, okay? Be lazy. Don't do anything. Lay around on the couch. Do nothing. Be a couch potato. Eat potato chips on the couch. The ultimate couch potato. That's what you gotta become and see how far that gets you. No. Get up and just do it. Even if you don't want to. You just do it. Okay? In life you have to do things that you don't feel like doing. But you have to do them anyway in order to get them done. That's what life is. Life is hard. It's about making hard decisions, and it's about doing hard things that you don't want to do. You just got to do it, dude. That's what you got to do, okay? Yo, dude, I don't know what kind of crack Lone Palm was putting in his uh, Cracker Jacks, but that was freaking to say, dude. Unwinding Madness, I'm a fan of Lone Palm. Yeah. All right, Ryan Lewis here with the news report, okay? The news report, you have every single episode. Raymond James. Welcome to Tums, the number one show in America on Saturday. This is news report, Ryan Lewis reporting the news. Top story. Unwinding Madness plans to stop further production on the character skits, but keep Terry and Charles. Paint Time Productions has a killer movie releasing this year, no confirmed date. The Lone Palm plans to go to Australia in a few years, but where will the money be? Where will the money be? Will he get it from his merch? I don't think so. Will he get it from a job? Who knows? Probably not, because the job isn't looking so good at this moment, neither is the merch. So Australia plans to not be in the works. He hasn't set a confirmed date when he's going, but still, it's going to be a while. Charles may be the suspected villain in Paint Time Productions' new movie, but nobody knows for sure. 
on Winefire Music has people stirring from their new song. Not just their new song, their new album. Era of Mistrust. People have been ranting and raving about it ever since it came out. Everyone's a, Everyone has enjoyed the songs and they have been fire. They are great, they are fantastic, and up oh, we have breaking news. Alright, this is brand new, breaking news. Unwinding Madness, I'm sorry, what was that, hit shop? Yup. Yup. Oh. Dang. Oh my, that is big news. We have big news. Unwinding Madness has gotten rid of the Madness Podcast, the Madness Podcast bloopers, and the merch channel. He has ridiculed and eradicated three of his channels. Oh, this is big. Yep. Oh, this is huge. Unwinding Madness now has only four channels. Four channels. He did have, what was that? Six. No, seven. He did have six channels before. Now he has four. This is huge. This is huge news. This is big. Yep, what was that? Yep. He plans to focus on that? No? Oh. Whoa. Okay. And he plans to focus on the Unwinding Madness show a lot more than any of those other channels that were useless. Yep. He never... He was never... Oh. He never was going to do anything with those channels anyway, so we just decided to get rid of them and focus more on the main channel and the bloopers and the music and Paint Time Productions. Those are the four channels that are left. Oh, this is huge news. Okay. Oh, yep, yep. That's all the information we have at the moment. Hope you enjoyed this news report. Let's take you back to the studio for your normal scheduled programming. Okay, guys. Breaking news. That was crazy. Might have been the craziest news report ever. We had huge news. We had live breaking news. Like, right in the segment. In the middle of the segment. I got a, we got calls everywhere coming in all over the place. Man, people are on track with this stuff. People are keeping up. Alright? Now, this next segment, as you guys know, I don't like very much. But I do it anyway for your enjoyment. We got the bowl of dares. Let's get out the bowl of dares. Yeah. I haven't reached in this puppy. I haven't reached in this bowl for a long time. And that's for a reason. God, I don't want to do this. Whatever dare it is, I don't want to do it. See, this is completely at random. I have no clue what the dare is. It's it's a dare. I've pulled a dare. I've pulled a dare. This is a small dare, so hopefully it's good. Run a mile. Um, it literally says run a mile. That's what it says, guys. So, as you guys know, I'm doing. I'm on a huge fitness grind right now. I'm getting in the gym. I'm getting freaking yoked. But I do run on the treadmill. So I'm going to the gym tomorrow, which gives me the perfect time to show you guys that I've ran a mile. So I'm going to get up around 8 o'clock, 9.30, 8.30 or so. And I'm going to the gym, and I'm going to run on the treadmill for a mile. That still counts. I make up my own rules. Shut up. I'm not actually running a mile. Tomorrow, I will show you guys. I will run a mile. I ran three miles today. Yes, I ran three miles in the gym today. I burned like 300 calories. I'm, I'm not kidding. I'm serious. This is serious stuff. So I will run a mile, okay? That's what I will do. I will do that tomorrow. Trust me, guys. Okay, here we go. Here's the footage of me running a mile. All right, so I was told to run a mile. That's what I'm doing. So I'll see you in a minute when, I'm, when this gets up to one or whatever. This is just the beginning.
man, oh man, this episode has been stacked full of stuff. This this episode is is well, was just freaking stacked. I'm I may have changed one of the segments last minute, but that's fine. That's all right. That's okay. Um. So yeah. Tums 38 is done for the books. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.